Hello all, welcome to Docker Basics to Brilliance course. My name is Castro Kiran. As a part of this lecture series, we are going to cover the in-depth details that are related to the Docker with respect to the DevOps engineer point of view. I am going to cover a total of 20 different concepts that are related to the Docker, including two projects that are related to the Docker integration with a couple of other tools that are available as a part of DevOps. So let me show you what are the topics that I'm going to cover in the process of working with this particular lecture series on Docker Basics to Brilliance course. Initially, we'll be starting our Docker course with the understanding related to the application architecture. And we'll also be talking about what is meant by virtualization and containerization. Along with that, we'll also be talking about how the containers has got evaluated, what is the concept of containerization, and then we'll be talking about introduction to Docker, and we'll be seeing how to install the Docker, what is a Docker architecture, how the Docker commands will work. All these components we are going to understand one by one in each of the lecture videos that we are going to cover. So these are the 10 major concepts are the fundamental concepts that we are going to learn as a part of DevOps curriculum. Once these concepts are completely covered, then I'm going to take this particular course into an advanced level, starting from how to write a Docker file. What are the different things that need to be kept in mind in order to write a Docker file? How to manage the Docker containers? How to create the containers? How to run the containers? and how to manage the data that is available in the containers in the form of the Docker volume concepts. And we'll also be talking about the networking concepts that are related to the Docker along with Docker Swarm and Docker Compose. These are the major concepts that I'm going to cover as a part of DevOps curriculum. As a complementary content, I'm also going to talk about a brief overview on the Docker desktop feature and also an introduction towards the ECS service that is available in the AWS cloud. Apart from these, I'll also be showing you how to work with a couple of projects that are related to the Docker, where I'm going to show you how to integrate Jenkins with Docker and Jenkins, Maven, and GitHub with the Docker concept. On a large scale, these are the topics that I'm going to cover in this lecture course. So a total of 25 to 30 lecture videos will be available with a minimum duration of 30 minutes and a maximum duration of 50 to 55 minutes with every lecture course. I hope this particular course will be very much useful for you and we'll be making the best out of this particular course in order to become the DevOps engineer. In order to understand the DevOps curriculum, there are two prerequisites that you need to have an idea about. The first prerequisite is I expect you to have an AWS account and the basic understanding of how to launch an EC2 instance in the AWS cloud. Along with that, I would also want you to have the fundamental knowledge on the Linux commands as well. Coming to the details of this course, all the videos that are related to the Docker will be uploaded in this particular channel, which is known as Learn with Castro with a separate playlist, which is named as Docker playlist. And if you want to have any kind of technical discussions related to the Docker concept, I would recommend you to join this particular WhatsApp group where you can scan this QR code and join the WhatsApp group. This WhatsApp group is purely related to the technical discussions, which are related specifically focusing on the Docker concepts. I hope this particular course will be very much helpful for you and you are going to make the best out of this particular course in order to become a DevOps engineer. Thank you.